Steppenwolf is a book by Herman Hesse. I've learned this through attempts to read classically. Classics have been good to me, pushing and prodding to define the ways I think and see, and most of all, the way to be what I really want to be, which is free, the symbiotic syllable that feeds off dreams and lends its wings to eternity, free from the world of lock and key for everything, free from the object, identity, and all the ideas you have of me, because I'm not even here to see that kind of free. Free like there's no gravity, and I just woke from the cruelest dream to laugh at everything I think I've seen, because the meaning, it denies a cage. It defies the pen, the page, the ink that stains and strains and chains of meaning. But I digress, back to Herman Hess. A steppin' wolf is a wolf of the steps, a scraggly, standoffish, somewhat misanthropic drifter in a sea of tall grass but he is also the creation of a creation, one side of Harry Holler's personality, the main character in Herman Hesse's somewhat autobiography. And this is Harry Holler's Wolf, written by me. I extend the invitation of my contemplations to witness the deranged, the strange, the change that never satisfies but intensifies the flame when no thing has my name quite like the shadow of blame, or feet that walk away, or the reasons why I can't explain how it just won't work, how I don't have the words to make it not hurt, when I've always fell apart, felt apart from the crowd, the lies, the eyes that people sharpen knives behind, this mankind, the unkind, judge, jury, hangman's noose, and I only want loose. I only want loose from the human race and the nightmares we chase while we call them dreams. When it seems, no matter what you pay, somebody pays more. And those who pay the most are called the poor. Our children are taught for factories, but learn to spin like kings for disposable things, kept like carrots on a string, just past the fingertips, and the only prayer that's on our lips is more. Please more, please more, like the plastic washed up on our shores. And no one knows where the future went sold by corporate government while we lose our homes, but joyfully become our favorite TV shows, where nothing is ever too much, but average is never enough. It's a poison that I touch, that I see, that I breathe, every rotten thought that I conceive till I believe that there's no worth in our societies. And I hear the echo of these screams fade to silence when I find the box in which I've placed my mind, the casket for my empathy, when all I really want from me is the space between who I am and who I used to be, the child of a prison and the man who would be free. So forgive me if I sometimes show my teeth, now that you may know what it means, to seek a syllable seeming only to be found in books and dreams. Thank you.